There's a new addition to the style panel, and that's transforms, letting you rotate, scale, skew, and more. In this video, we're going to demo this by building these cards from CSS Tricks that when you hover over them, they have this nice transform effect. Heading over to Web Studio, I have the cards built, but there's no transform effect right now, so let's add it. I first want to start by adding a token so I can apply the same styles to every card, and I'm just going to call it is card transform. And on here, I want to select the hover effect because that's when these transforms are going to kick in. I'm going to head down here till we get to the transforms part of the style panel and add a new one and do translate. I'm going to go over to CSS tricks and just inspect it so I can get it exactly how they're doing it. And they've got translate Y negative one rem. So I'm going to open up our translate, go to Y and do negative one rem. So that's going to bring it up a little bit. And then they also have a rotate three degrees. So let's add another transform. You can see we have all these different properties we can pick from. We're going to do rotate and then do three degrees. OK, now if I were to unhover this by just clicking on the token, we can see that there is a choppy effect on this. And I want to add this card actually to the other or the token to the other ones as well. And we'll do the is card transform, add it there and then on this card, too. So now my styles are impacting all of them. OK, it's choppy. Let's fix that. We have a couple things we need to do. Uh, one of them is adding a transition. So let's go to our token and then add a transition. And we are going to add the property for transform. And then let's see what that does. That makes it rotate nicely, but it doesn't do the uh, translate. So let's add one for translate. And now let's see how that looks. All right, it's smooth, but we still have some fine tuning to do. First, I want to make them each overlay with each other. So on my card, I'm going to go to the margin and do negative uh, 130 pixels. And that's good for these two, but the first one, I don't want that to happen because now it's going too far out of the container. So instead of affecting all of them, I'm going to switch over to local and just override this one and do zero. Okay, now let's check it out. Okay, that's looking better, but I want them to be a little bit more pronounced over each other. And we're going to be doing that with a box shadow. So I can see that they have this box shadow. So we're going to go to our token here and then add a box shadow and then just paste this into the code and it'll translate it to the UI. And there we go. Now we have these nice overlays and same thing with the first one. They're not using this on the first one because it's not actually overlaying anything. So I'm going to go to the local override and just turn that off. I noticed that when I hover over it, it delays hovering over the next one. So let's fix that by going to our card and setting this, first of all, to position relative. We'll set them all to zero right now, which is kind of the default. But then when we hover over it, I want to make it go to one. And let's see if this fixes it. Now it's instant. Well, this is looking really good. We could fine tune it a little bit more by adjusting the card size so they're all a little bit more equal. But really, the intention here is to show the transforms UI and then also adding transitions. There are really two big use cases for transforms. The first one is when you are moving between two different states like we're doing right now. We've got our default state and then our hover state. And you can see all the states here in the drop down that you're able to affect. And the other big area is just the default state. So when you're designing, you may want to rotate something a little bit or move it around. And the transforms are going to help out a lot with that. So in summary, what we've done here is we went to the hover state. We applied the different transforms, and we did that by clicking the plus and selecting the different properties. There are other ones here that we haven't talked about, but the nice thing about these is that they align with CSS naming conventions. So you can just search for what does transform origin do and get an idea of that. Or you could just play with it and say, I want this to transform origin from the bottom. And you can see kind of where it's uh, where it's like pivot point is at. And then we went to the default state. And we applied our transition, so there is a nice effect when you hover over it, and it's not choppy. It's a nice, smooth transition. And that is the new addition to the style panel, Transforms. We hope you build something really cool with this, and we'll see you in the next one.